Okay, INFPs, you have a problem. You know, that problem, it's often associated with self-bullying. That means a lot of INFPs struggle with their own personal image and their own sense of self-worth. Now, the thing is, a lot of INFPs, so all INFPs, are introverted feeling dominant types. That means they are introverted feeling heroes. That means they take the most confidence and the most pride in their own ability to be themselves, authentic, honest, real. So, it's kind of a contradiction that INFPs struggle with self-worth. How can a type that draws so much value and so much meaning from inside itself struggle so much with self-doubt and with self-criticism and self-ridicule and self-bullying? What I've found is INFPs have a tendency towards the dramatic. So, if the hero of the INFP is introverted feeling, the rival of the INFP is extroverted thinking. That means a lot of time INFPs will wield their rival and they will put up a strong opposition towards their own ego. That means INFPs, they like to build up this image of a big bad bully or some kind of evil force or somebody or something or a parent or teacher or boss at work who is always getting down on you. Somebody in the world that is always mean to you, somebody who always disrespects you, somebody who uh, never believes you, never trusts you, never lets you be yourself. So there's always this idea that I have a strong sense of self and a strong uh, sense of truth and a strong sense of who I am, but I am being bullied and I'm being attacked and I'm being uh, punished by the world or by some other external force. Now the thing is, I title this video self-bullying and that's because a lot of time INFPs will project a negative worse voice, a negative uh, dialogue inside their own heads and kind of project that idea of how people are being mean to you or how people are being rude to you or how people are hurting you around you. So the, the idea is a lot of time the worst, I'm not saying that bullying can't come from the outside and that meanness can't be real and that you cannot have experienced reaction at work or in school or from your family. What I'm saying is the worst part of it, 90% of it happens inside your own head as you project and take this internalized voice that you've heard from others, magnify it and put it on yourself. So a lot of time INFPs are engaged in this uh, negative dialogue and that's why in this video you're gonna learn to monitor and pay attention to your own thoughts and that means pay attention to how you talk to yourself as an INFP listen to the word choices listen to the blame where it's where's the blame assigned where's the responsibility where does your inner voice come from who is talking to you like that's most important almost where is it coming from where is where are these thoughts coming from where is this negativity coming from where is this uh, self-harm or ridicule coming from why are you being mean to yourself why are you being harsh to yourself it could be that uh, you are unconsciously taking on the energies of other people and that you are really hearing or seeing maybe somebody looked away maybe somebody had a, a frown on their face maybe there was something somebody said that put you off and then you took that one thing and then you started building this whole story around it about how this person was upset with you and how this person was mean to you and how this person was uh, really uh, coming down on you and on who you are and your being for no reason at all a lot of time there is in this like the sense of victimhood I've done nothing wrong and so this person is coming down on me and is being mean to me for no reason at all so maybe there was this small thing that I did or this very small thing but then they were really unfair a lot of time it's unfair this is a key thought that can come from INFPs like people are being unfair to me they're not respecting where I'm coming from they're not seeing where I am or where I'm at or what my struggles are or what my pain or hardships are people don't get what I've been through so as an INFP the first part is just listen to your own voice and that means listen to who's talking inside your own head and listen to when you're not talking to yourself because 
you don't want to take the words of other people or the tone of other people inside your own head and put it on yourself because it's not real. You don't want to just imagine or make up a story about what other people feel about you or why people are doing a certain thing towards you or why people are being mean to you if that's not what's happening in the real world. So you don't want to really put words in other people's mouths. You don't want to uh, just assume what other people might be feeling or what other people might be thinking just to reinforce your own feelings or your own values or your own identity. You don't, and here's the thing, you know, because INFPs, they do have a very strong sense of self. INFPs are very sure of who they are and where they're coming from and what uh, their values are and what their ethics are. And they have this really strong idea in their head of their own identity. And, you know, this is why it's so tempting to have a strong enemy inside your own head, because uh, having this kind of drama and tension inside you can really promote this really strong image, you know. By reinforcing the dark inside of you, you can also reinforce the light inside of you. So by having a strong enemy, you can feel a strong sense of heroism. You can feel a strong sense of uh, inner truth and conviction and value and worth. Uh, so the idea is by putting this strong enemy inside of your head, you can also give a chance, an opportunity for yourself to validate yourself in your own feelings. And you know, this strategy often tends to fail miserably because um, the more you put forward yourself, the more you also put forward this inner darkness. And so it's really that uh, you're constantly building an enemy, an opponent inside your own head that doesn't, for the first part, exist in the real world and will never falter, will never give up, will constantly push on you, bear on you every day, you know, every minute of your waking life. So uh, you'll find that this voice is in your own head in the morning when you wake up, in the evening when you're tired, after a hard week's work, you know, after uh, having a sleep, few sleepless nights, you know, you'll find that that voice is constantly there and a burden on your shoulders. So it's constantly sapping your energy, sapping your strength. So while you think that you're pushing yourself, whipping yourself to be stronger, to be better, to be uh, more honest, to be more real, What's really happening is uh, you're constantly sucking your own energy, draining your own worth, draining your own value, and putting resistance and obstacles for yourself in every decision you make. So in reality, a lot of time, this uh, pattern of self-bullying tends to lead to self-harm or to self-sabotage. It means um, you're constantly denying yourself good decisions, decisions that would make you happy, decisions at work that would put you further towards your goals, uh, things that would make you build stronger friendships because uh, you're constantly uh, reinforcing this opposition inside of yourself, this uh, uh, negativity is constantly there and it's always constantly blocking the door, you know, if, imagine there's, there's a door in your head and there's a uh, place you want to go to but there's constantly a door guard and you're constantly wrestling this door guard so you never actually get to the other side of the door where you actually want to be. Now as an INFP what can you do to really better your self-work and what kind of strategies can you build to uh, really counteract this? And I, What I would argue is what you want to do is you want to build an idea of kind of an angel. So imagine that the there is an angel who is constantly giving you what you need, a muse, an inspiration in your life that's constantly supporting you in every decision you make. What you want to imagine is that there is this kind of figure inside of you, this uh, dialogue. Imagine you have this kind of a person inside of you, this uh, kind of archetype of yourself. You know, it's just ultimately it's just a version of yourself. It's a part of yourself, the part that wants you to succeed, the part that wants you to be healthy, the part of you that wants to be happy. So imagine you have this force in your life that is constantly lifting you up. In every decision you make, it's encouraging you to reach higher. In every relationship you have, it encourages you to be more vulnerable, to be more deep. In every conversation you have, it's encouraging you to be more curious, to be more weird, to be more different, to be more yourself. So imagine that you have this force in your life and have this dialogue with yourself. You know, sit down with yourself and practice You know, every day. Set aside uh, 10 minutes, an hour or whatever uh, to just uh, support yourself through positive dialogue, just 
words of kindness, words of reaffirmation, words that will support you. Uh, just go inside yourself and ask yourself, what is it I need? And then uh, think of all those things that would help you be more successful, you know, those things that would inspire you, those things that would make you more curious. Would it be a nice book? Would it be a walk in the sun? Would it be uh, going into a park? Would it be calling up a close friend of yours? Would it be writing a journal? Would it be whatever it would be that would really help you put yourself more out there? Because uh, the goal of an INFP is really to uh, go inside, build a strong sense of self, a strong sense of self that can radiate into the real world, you know, a sense of self that can uh, really have an impact on the world around you. You want to be so much yourself that the world around you, your home, your school, your co-working atmosphere, uh, your experiences all echo that sense of self. You want your world around you to be in harmony with the world that is inside of you. So you want to have the room of your dreams, you want to have the relationship of your dreams, you want to have the life of your dreams, you want to have the work of your dreams. Uh, any place where you just can be yourself. So INFPs, what can you do to break the cycle of self-bullying? Have you noticed this pattern in yourself? What do you do in order to build yourself up and to build a more happy and healthy lifestyle as an INFP? Thank you all for watching and if you like this video, feel free to visit my Patreon website, patreon.com slash ericthor, become a member, it really supports my channel and it really supports my work. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.